Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Minakshi and today we'll talk about guys very interesting grammar quiz. So let's get started. Let's have a look what we will discuss today. So grammar quiz which is based on abstract noun and adjective. So what we, we have to do here, write the abstract noun form, okay, of the verb and identify the adjective, which is the adjective here, okay. So let's get started. Let's begin now write the abstract noun form so nelson mandela was no before this we need to know guys what is abstract noun so abstract noun is a noun that refers to something non-physical okay that refers to something non-physical something conceptual that you can't perceive directly without your senses okay you can't touch without your senses you can say for example sadness adulthood kindness anger, beauty, etc. Okay. So, abstract noun is that which you can only feel. You only experience that. You can't even touch with your five sense organs. Okay. So, abstract noun cannot be seen, heard, smelled, tasted and touched. So, you only experience that. You only feel that. That is your abstract noun. So, we can say abstract noun is that which refers to something non-physical, something conceptual that you can't perceive directly without your, with your senses. Not without, with your senses guys. Okay. So, now this is your abstract noun. It is clear now. Now, let's have the first question. Nelson Mandela was known for his wise and fearless leader. So, leader is what guys? Leader is a noun. Okay, which you can see leader. Anyone can be leader like Narendra Modi, like uh, uh, Vladimir Putin. So, leader. Leader is a noun which you can see. But what will be the abstract noun of leader? It's gonna be leadership. Okay. So, Nelson Mandela was known for his wise and fearless leadership. It's gonna be leadership. Okay, guys. It is your leadership leadership is the quality it is an abstract noun which you only feel which you only experience okay you can't feel it sorry you you can feel this you only feel you only experience but you cannot touch with your five sense organs okay so this is your abstract noun let's uh, talk about the second one without health there is no happy again happy is a Happy is what? It is an adjective. Okay. It is the quality. Okay. Now we have to convert this into abstract noun. So without health, there is no happy will become happiness. There is no happiness. Okay. Happiness is a thing which you feel internally guys. You feel, you experience that. Okay. You only feel that. You only experience that. You can't, you touch that. Okay. You can't touch the happiness. Okay. So that's what without health, there is no happiness. Okay. So now let's talk about the third one. And thank you so much guys for your support and motivation. Thank you so much that you are watching my videos continuously. Please keep watching, keep sharing and keep liking the videos. I really, really, really need your support guys. Please support me and please share my videos. Please uh, watch my videos also and thank you so much for your support and motivation and if you are new on my channel guys or you are watching me the very very first time please subscribe the channel first thank you so much so third one is everybody was impressed with her with her what beautiful beautiful is a thing which you can see guys okay it is an adjective beautiful is an adjective so to make it abstract noun what we have to do everybody was impressed with her beautiful will convert into beauty okay everybody was impressed with her beauty so beauty is a thing beauty is an abstract noun which you feel which you experience okay you can't touch the beauty okay you just feel that you only experience that so abstract noun as i've already told you it is a non-physical thing something conceptual that you can't perceive directly with your senses okay guys now let's talk about the second one identify the adjective now let's talk about the adjective guys what is adjective adjectives are describing words what is adjective adjectives are describing words they tell us more about a noun or a pronoun Okay, they tell us more about a noun or a pronoun. They, they are describing words. So, adjectives. There are different types of adjectives like adjective of quality, adjective of number, adjective of quantity. 
possessive adjective interrogative adjective demonstrative adjective distributive adjective okay so there are seven types of adjectives okay so now let's have first question raj is an intelligent boy we have to uh, what we have to do here guys we have to write the uh, which uh, adjective is here okay raj is an intelligent boy so intelligent is what guys intelligent is a quality intelligent is a quality it shows the quality what is adjective adjective shows the shape size okay it shows the shape size name okay quality of a noun color etc so here this is the quality of raj that raj is an intelligent boy it is the quality of raj raj is an intelligent if we write raj is a boy okay simply it is raj is a boy but if i am writing here raj is an intelligent boy that's what it is the quality of raj that it he is an intelligent guy so intelligent is your what adjective of quality okay adjective of quality okay this is your now let's talk about the second one there are 14 children in the queue guys okay 14 so as i've told you i as i've already told you that adjective of quality adjective of number adjective of quantity so here adjective of number this is your adjective of number 14 is your adjective of number you can write this adjective of number but what we have to do here so guys 14 is our adjective of number but what is 14 there are two okay in this uh, in this sentence it is your cardinal adjective okay adjective of number includes two types of so adjective of number include two types of adjective cardinal and ordinal guys cardinal shows what is cardinal cardinal shows like 14 it is your so adjective like 14 denotes that how many okay how many are called cardinal adjective so it is your cardinal cardinal adjective or you will write it adjective of number adjective of number okay guys in adjective of number it is cardinal adjective because cardinal adjective denotes how many how many are called cardinal adjectives now so cardinal adjective and adjective of number now let's talk about the third one he stood first in class today okay he stood first in class today so first again it is your adjective of number guys adjective of number because it shows adjective of number is also known as numerical adjective okay numerical adjective which shows how many okay how many or in what order or person or thing is stand so adjective that tells us how many or in what order a person or thing is stands is called adjective of number or numerical adjectives okay so here first is your adjective of number but first again i am telling you guys again it is your ordinal adjective first is your ordinal adjective okay ordinal adjective shows that in order in which okay in order it shows the order what order it is the first like so adjectives like first second third fourth fifth etc all are ordinal adjectives okay all are ordinal adjective first second third fourth okay first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth all are ordinal adjectives and you counting which shows how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 14 15 15 like all are cardinal adjective so both are adjective of number but it is your cardinal adjective because it shows how many and it is your ordinal adjective it because it shows in order hai na it shows the order okay so it he stood first in class today now the last one is each child got a return gift okay each child got a so here each this is our adjective now which type of adjective this is guys so this is your this is your distributive adjective distributive adjective
it is your distributive adjective distributive adjective is what adjective that refers to one okay one out of a group is called distributive adjective adjective that refers to one out of a group one should be there but out of a group is called is called distributive adjective like here each child got a return gift means total from the total group each child got a return gift means every child got a return gift from the group so i am saying here to one out of a group is called a distributive adjective each child got a return gift either of the finalist will win the game like okay everyone was stunned by the news so everyone was stunned by the news so everyone means it is one out of a group okay each it is one out of a group either it is one out of a group so each or either everyone neither all are your ad distributive adjectives okay guys so this is all about your today's grammar quiz thank you so much abstract noun we discussed today and adjective okay so thank you so much bye bye have a nice day and take care